Hello everyone. Welcome to new class. Today's class is the problems based on the conversion of block diagram to signal flow graph. And I have discussed several problems related to this. So if you didn't watch, please go through it. And also please watch the playlist for your desired subjects. So let us go through the problem. Draw a signal flow graph and evaluate the closed loop transfer function of a system whose block diagram is shown in the figure. So this is the given block diagram. So we have to convert this block diagram to signal flow graph first. So for that, first of all, we have to decide the nodes. So assume nodes at input, output, at every summing point, then at every branch point like that. So this is number one. That is, this is number one node, then this is number two, then three, then four, then five, the summing point, then this is the branch point, so six, then output seven, then here no summing point and a branch point, so here this is a summing point, so eight. So there are eight nodes. So we have to draw the eight nodes first. So one, then two, three, four, then five, six, seven. Then eight we have to draw here. Now from 1 to 2, the transfer function or the transmittance is 1, then 2 to 3, again 1, 3 to 4, the value is G1, 4 to 5, G3, 5 to 6, 1, then 6 to 7, also 1, then 4 to this 5, there is a parallel branch so that is 4 to 5 and here it is minus so its value is minus g2 and from 6 to 8 6 to 8 h1 so 6 to 8 h1 then 8 to 3 so 8 to 3, this is, here this is minus, so from 8 to 3 it is minus H2. Then 2 to 8, this is from 2 to 8, so from 2 to 8 it is minus, so minus G4. So the arrows are very important. So mark the arrows very carefully. Now this is the signal flow graph. Now we have to find the closed loop transfer function using the Mason's gain formula. So for that first of all find the forward paths. So for the forward path gain we have to find the number of forward paths that is k so this is the first forward path that is 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is the first forward path now next forward path is this one that is 1, 2, 3, 4, then from here to here. Again it is 5, then 6, 7. So here minus G2 and here from 4 to 5 it is G3. So note that. 
then from here that is 1 2 8 then 3 4 5 6 7 so 1 2 then 8 3 4 5 6 7 so this is another forward path and also we can consider 1 2 8 3 4 then through the minus g2 5 6 7 so 1 2 8 3 4 5 6 7 again but through minus g2 from 4 to 5 so there are four forward paths and we have to find the four forward path gains and the first one is p1 so first forward path gain is g1 g2 sorry g1 g3 g1 g3 then second p2 is this is the forward path so g1 minus g2 minus g1 g2 then p3 is from here so minus g4 minus h2 then g1 g3 so it is g1 g3 g4 h2 then p4 that is the fourth one is minus g4 minus h2 g1 minus g2 that is minus g1 g2 g4 h2 so these are the forward path gains now we have to find the individual loop gains for that we have to find the individual loops so here from 3 4 5 6 8 then 3 so this is one individual loop again we have the individual loop like this that is 3 4 then minus through the minus g2 5 6 8 3 so these two are the individual loops so individual loop individual loops are through 3 4 5 6 8 3 then again 3 4 5 6 8 3 so here this 4 to 5 is through minus g2 and individual loop gains are p11 so p11 is g1 g3 minus h sorry plus h1 minus h2 so minus g1 g3 h1 h2 then p21 is g1 g2 h1 h minus h2 so g1 g2 h1 h2 these two minus are cancelled now we have to find the gain product of two non-touching loops so here only two loops are there and these two are in contact with each other so there is no possibility for the two non-touching loops and also for the three non-touching loops now we have to find the values for delta and delta k and delta is 1 minus sum of individual loop gains are p1 p11 then plus p21 then plus sum of two non-touching loops are 0 so here 1 minus minus g1 g3 h1 h2 plus g1 g2 h1 h2 and that is 1 plus g1 g3 h1 h2 minus g1 g2 h1 h2 and we have to find the values for delta k 
and here delta 1, delta 2, delta 3 and delta 4 we have to find and delta 1 is delta for that part of the graph which is not touching the first forward path. So for the first forward path we have delta 1 is equal to 1 and also for the second forward path there is no individual lobes and also for the third individual and fourth sorry third forward path and for the fourth forward path there is no individual loops so delta 1 delta 2 delta 3 and delta 4 are equal to 1 so delta 1 delta 2 delta 3 and delta 4 equal to 1 now we can find the transfer function using mason's gain formula And that is t is equal to 1 by delta sigma k p k delta k equal to p1 delta 1 plus p2 delta 2 plus p3 delta 3 plus p4 delta 4 divided by delta. Now substitute all the values. p1 is g1 g3. g1 g3 into 1. Then P2, P2 is minus G1, G2 into 1. Then P3 is plus G1, G3, G4, H2. Then P4 is minus G1, G2, G4, H2. Whole divided by delta is 1 plus G1, G3, H1, H2 minus G1, G2, H1, H2. So, this is the value of transfer function that is overall transfer function for the given block diagram. So, in this way we are doing the problems related to block diagram to signal flow graph conversion. So, if you want more problems related to this block diagram to signal flow graph conversion, so please comment and thank you for watching the class. If you like the classes, please like, share and subscribe my channel.